Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs, what's coming towards you. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or the link to our Etsy store for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you'll find it listed in the description box below the video. Um, I am doing a giveaway this month. I'm giving away three three question readings at the end of June. If you're interested, comment the number three Q and three red hearts. Let's get into this for Aries. Aries, I have you at one minute. You have new love coming towards you. You may be, a, be on vacation. Um, I almost like use your intuition. I feel like you might have a victory in this one. I, uh, this is like you meet somebody while you're at the beach or you're, you're traveling. Uh, you could be at a distance from your house, but you could be both from the same area. Like great minds think alike. I feel like you got a victory here. Use your intuition. Person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You're really thinking about this. You're using your intuition here. It's almost like you're mastering your emotions about the truth in a situation. I feel like there is equal give and take here. In this, this is going to be somebody that you're that's going to stick around. You both see things from a different perspective, and you're making that choice. So I feel like yes, it might be rushed. But you're going to meet somebody and have an instant connection with this person. Uh, like I said, you, you're going to be maybe at the beach. Maybe you don't live too far from the beach, but you may be from the same place. Because I feel like you got the moon here twice. I don't feel like that that's um, anything hidden. I feel like that's using your intuition and mastering your emotions. Because I feel like you're, you're thinking, you're thinking a lot about this person. You're, you're using your intuition, almost going by your gut feeling that you feel a connection to this person that you don't realize, um, like you haven't felt before. Like, this is what I'm feeling. Um, the truth is that you both feel you both want the same things. And you both want a commitment. So you're looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe this is the one, right? And I'm making my decision with that, with that lover's card, making your choice. So Taurus, I have you at 318. Taurus, I feel like someone's going to be honest with you about why they broke up. Maybe they were going through something. They may be coming towards you to give you a gift. They may have gone through some tough times, and maybe that was why they broke up with you. I don't see that this has anything to do with a third party. I see that this person may have just been, uh, they're confessing something to you about the breakup, why they walked away. They may have been going through some, some tough times. So it's like manifesting, seeing something, taking that leap, maybe manifesting that. Tell me about this. Yeah. It's almost like you didn't see, Taurus, you didn't see that this person was going through a tough time. This person was having sleepless nights. They were manifesting sleepless nights, but they, you didn't see, you didn't see the drama or whatever they were going through. And this person needed to recover. I don't know if this person went through a bout of depression. I don't know if there was some kind of loss or something that, that triggered this, uh, but this person may have closed out the cycle with you, but there's an opportunity to rebuild. This person may have 
held back and and left themselves out uh, they left themselves out in the cold it's like maybe being out in the cold holding back holding back the tower there's illuminating a reconciliation here though so whoever you were dating Taurus may have gone through some serious mental issues uh, maybe there was some kind of a loss or a grieving period or this person was having a um, severe bout of depression something happened something happened to this person they were holding back a tower out in the cold they had to close the cycle with you um i don't think it had anything to do with you i, I think that maybe you didn't see what was right under your nose like if it was something they were going through, they just didn't tell you, but they thought maybe you knew, um, but you didn't. So six twenty-seven, Gemini. You have an ex coming towards you. You have an ex lover here. Something that's an illusion or this is somebody who is trying to confuse. Maybe trying to confuse you. They're coming towards you with a message. Gemini, there's a choice to be made here. Someone's rushing in to try to heal a situation and rebuild. They want you to make a decision, but there was always a lot of drama in this relationship with this person. I feel like you're confused. You've closed this, you've closed the book on this, like you closed the book on, on this connection even though it was a very strong connection. I feel like the reason that you're confused now is because it was a 10 of cups, two of cups kind of relationship. Like this person did fill all the cups for you, but there was some drama that happened. I do feel like this isn't the one for you that whatever I see an illusion here. This is an illusion and this is an illusion. Mind games and manipulating with illusion. Okay. So I feel like that you do have somebody coming towards you. Um, your guides are guiding you to cut this person off and leave them out in the cold and move on and master your emotions and move on. Um, I feel like this isn't the one for you but you may have somebody coming towards you with a message, but this person may, this may be somebody who does magic. So I feel like this, this is something you need to steer clear of. Tell me about cancer at 916. I feel like if you're going through some hard times, Cancer, um, I feel like things are about to change. You may have the new beginning that you've been wishing for. It may be coming towards you. I feel like the truth, it, there's a truth here that's making you unhappy about a person. I feel like you're moving on heartbroken.
So if you went through a heartbreak with either a Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like the truth is that you were discontent with this king of, uh, you were not happy with this king of pentacles. Um, you wanted to take that leap for new love. Cancer, you were heartbroken, needed to heal. Um, you do have a king of wands. You have a king of wands here. But this person's not wishing you well. This, okay. You have somebody that you had storm warnings and there's a change. So there's something that happened that caused an ending, right? But you have a new beginning that you've wished for. You weren't happy with this person. This is the storm warnings. And so you left this person and you met this other person. And this person, you needed to heal from this drama. But this person, once you left out in the cold, they're wishing to cause some kind of betrayal. They're hoping this person cheats on you. They are. Th this person is not wishing you well. And you know, it's out of jealousy. The king of pinnacles is jealous of the fact that you have new love um, because you've gone from having bad times to good times. And um, this person's not happy about the fact that you're, you're um, maybe you met somebody before they met somebody. I, I don't know. I just feel that this person doesn't wish you well. So I have it. Five. Leo. Leo, you've got some energy around you lately. I don't know what the deal is, but the grass is greener, divine intervention. You've got dark clouds surrounding and obstacles. So something is causing you to be stuck. You need divine intervention. Grass is greener. Somebody could have cheated on you, Leo, thinking the grass was greener, but they caused a lot of drama and obstacles here. Uh, divine inter intervention is needed. There's somebody who wants to be with you. They're trapped in their head watching, but you have the strength to move on. You've had the strength to move on from somebody from the past. Um, you waited, like you waited for this person to come back towards you. It could have been a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. It's been a long time coming, but there you are, Leo. You have a new beginning coming towards you. I almost feel like you don't believe it. So it's like you're getting clarity at a crossroads. Um, it's illuminating something or this is your happiness and success coming towards you. Um, I feel like the grass wasn't greener. This person may have cheated on you. Um, I feel like they got their karma though. Now the dark clouds surround them. This isn't that. This isn't you. This is them. Um, they're going to have obstacles here. They saw that you had the strength to move on from them. You waited for this person for a long time, but now you have a new beginning. And, you know, clear, this may be them getting clarity at a crossroads about your happiness. They're finding out that you're happy and you're doing you and living your best life, and they don't like it. This is, this is them seeing that you had the strength to leave them behind because they cheated. 1421. Or Virgo. Hmm. You have a message coming in. It, it's like a roll of a die. Somebody's taking a chance. It may be around your home or your security. Somebody may want to come and stay with you. They may want to come and live with you or, um, they're taking a risk. They're taking a chance to come back towards you. Somebody's waiting for an opportunity. They're a little trapped in their head about something they, like, very guarded about the past. It's almost like they don't want to talk about the past. 
guarded about the past, trapped in their head. They're waiting for an opportunity. This person may regret breaking your heart and they want to tell you the truth. Um, they're looking back at their past mistakes and their mind games and manipulation. They now want a victory. They're trying to get some clarity to communicate something to you, to communicate an apology. So this person may come to visit you. This person's trying to make up with you somehow. They may be coming for a visit. They're taking a chance. They're coming towards you. This is a lesson. Maybe they have to, their lesson is to own their shit. Maybe that's it. Um, so Virgo, you may have a visitor coming towards you to apologize. So Libra, 1607. Hmm. You're not expecting a soulmate to come towards you, so you're at a crossroads on whether this is real or if this person is just trying to play you or it's sneaky they're being sneaky whatever the case may be you do have somebody coming towards you unexpected soulmate and being at a crossroads this person's coming towards you you've got to make a decision to either leave this person out in the cold. That's your wish fulfillment is to leave somebody out in the cold to have a new beginning because you feel like they're a burden. You feel like there's no equal give and take and you are at a crossroads. The harsh truth here is as though you're feeling two ways at the same time. You feel like your wish is to move on, but then you have sleepless nights over this because you feel the connection. There is an opportunity, but you've got to get out of your head. I feel like you're in two different mindsets, to be honest with you, Libra. And it's like you don't know which one you want. You've got to balance the scales. Okay? You're, you're trapped in your head. There is an opportunity here, and, the, and you're thinking about this person, but one side of you says, leave them out in the cold and be done with it, and the other said, well, I feel some kind of, some kind of way about this person. So, you know, um, you're in two different mindsets. You need to balance it out. Scorpio, Scorpio at 1802. Mm. I feel like somebody may be getting married here. Um, this is about security and stability. Somebody's talking about your security and stability, and this is almost like... You could have, uh, you could have eloped, you could have secretly gotten married, or you could have been moving in together. This is not, doesn't necessarily have to be a wedding. It could be a leveling up in a relationship. Um, people don't know that you guys live together. People are talking about your security or your stability. And, or could you afford this or could you afford that? People are just talking. They need to stop talking. They need to take your name out of their mouth. I feel like you're no longer working with somebody. It could be a queen of wands. You're leaving this person out in the cold. That's your wish fulfillment. Um, You got to heal from their betrayal, divine timing. I feel like you're coming in as a king of swords, Scorpio. You're, you're a king of swords here. You being very strategic with this person. It could be very cold. I feel like this is because this person talks a lot about you. You feel betrayed that this, you may have told something to this person and they're blabbing it to everybody. So that's why you're in the king of swords mode.
this person feels like you rushed into something like you rushed if you if you got married or if you leveled up your relationship this person's talking about your stability and that maybe you rushed in you rushed into this and took that leap of faith you rushed in and took a leap of faith and this person you're really angry because they're putting your business in the street you may have told them something and they're blabbing it all over the place. I feel like you're tired of working with this person. You're tired of this person. So you're no longer going to be sharing anything with this person on a personal level. So at 2044, I'm Sagittarius. Hmm. So you have somebody who's leveling up as a person here. Sagittarius, you went from being a player, hooking up from people to proposing to somebody. You've matured. This man is maturing. This is somebody who's matured, matured and gained a lot of wisdom. You're resisting third parties because you have a new beginning. You're looking back at past mistakes. Where say so you used to argue and fight about things that were hidden, but I feel like you found some peace and balance here, and you got a victory. You're going to like this is a, someone who wants to tell the truth about the broken heart. They've leveled up. This person's an emperor now. You're going to be honest with your person. And, and tell them that you want a family situation with them. Um, I feel like this is like the two of you in a family situation. This could be the marriage card, right? So if you used to hook up with people in the past, you no longer deal with this. You no longer deal with this. You want a new beginning. You want a victory. You know, you're being honest. Um, and I feel like you're leveling up. You have an opportunity now. You see the opportunity. You see the opportunity to take a step to to propose to this person or um, move forward or take. It's almost like you took a giant leap forward in in your situation because you overcame some things. Sagittarius. So I have Capricorn at twenty-two. Ooh, you got the snake twice. You got the snake twice. I'm telling you, this has been going on. Um, this could be past life karma. You've got two snakes here. You got two snakes in something that's fate, that this is destined your paths to cross, maybe because it's past life karma. Your judgment is to have a new passionate beginning with the King of Pentacles. This is Capricorn. You have an Empress, and I feel like somebody's going to have some regret. I feel like you've been attracted to this person for a very long time. You've been back and forth with this person. You've wanted to be with this person. You know, obsessed needing strength because you need it. You wanted to be with this person. Coming in as a king of wands, you could be a twin. But I feel like the snake is here to teach you something. There is a king of swords. This person's going to try to, they want to communicate. They want justice communicating. Two of you both may have karmics here. And this queen of wands is working on a victory. So Capricorn, you're a twin flame. And I feel like you have a karmic queen of wands. And the empress has a karmic king of swords. That's the two snakes. 
you both have karmics. You both have karmics here. This has been, this is past life. This is fate. This is destiny, destiny with the empress, right? So this is your twin flame. This person's wanting a victory with you. This king of swords wants a victory. And this is you getting clarity and not being able to stop your emotions about the person that, it, that you're with because you feel very drawn to them. Um, but there are people that are going to try to break it apart. So I have Aquarius. At 2541. You have somebody single, you have unfinished business about an ending and something being very sweet. Tell me about this. So you took the opportunity to close a cycle out where, you know, if you felt backstabbed and betrayed, you rushed to close a cycle out, Aquarius. Here you are. You know, you're closing out a cycle. Um, somebody may have betrayed you with an option. You're wishing to walk away. You're ending it because of a third party. You're starting a new beginning. Someone is trying to resist this third party waiting for their wish fulfillment in a new beginning in love, in a relationship. Mm, on divine timing, you're leaving it out in the cold. This person's going to try to come back around and be sweet and happy and try thinking that you have unfinished business here, but this is over and you're single. This person's going to try to reconcile with you, Aquarius, but you're not going to buy it. It's over. It's a done deal. Last card out was the five of pentacles, leaving them out in the cold. Okay, and Pisces at 2720. Oh. Romantic feelings, reconciliation. But somebody is, this is, this is painful. Someone's obsessed with causing pain or what is this? Tell me about this for Pisces. The truth is somebody's going to reconcile the burdens here, Empress Energy, with the King of Wands. You know, I feel like it's been a long time coming. I feel like there's going to be equal give and take with this person. This person could be, this is a twin flame. I feel like, I feel like this person is uh, needing strength, emperor energy. You have an, yeah, that's a twin flame. To apologize to you for causing you so much pain. I feel like, um, you're going to get some clarity here. This is about the two of you coming together, reconciling, but the obsessed with the pain. This has been difficult for both of you. So I feel like this is you getting over this drama. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.